Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert, the Leather Cowboy Muhammad, down here, Premier Leather Crafters in Alabama, doing some work, and I have another video for you guys. I, I am really kind of excited about this video because I have a new tool that's in that I actually, uh, one, two, three, three new tools that's in, but I am so excited about one of them um, that I couldn't wait. And I've actually already put that tool into print with one of my custom um, quick draw knife sheets. Which, ladies and gentlemen, these are becoming very popular. So um, if, um, if you were to hit the subscription button at the bottom, I appreciate you for that. Thank you for all you. First of all, thank all of you guys for subscribing. Thank all of you guys for tuning in when I do these videos. Thank all of you guys for your comments and your questions and things like that. Uh, if, if I can give you an answer, I'll give it to you. If I don't know the answer, if you give me about five or ten minutes, I know somebody that knows the answer, and I'll give it back to you real fast. But I like to thank you guys for subscribing and and joining me on the on this journey. Um, but these the the quick draw knife sheets are becoming very popular. Bear Grylls made these popular actually with the horizontal um, knife sheath or knife case that he carries with his little Bear Grylls knives, which is just a, a horizontal placement that's attached, a horizontal uh, on the belt. So it's for quick, easy pulling, especially if you're in the woods or if you're out in nature or whatever. Traditionally, instead of carrying the, the leg length uh, right beside the leg, just to say this is the leg, the normal traditional knife sheets would attach this way on a vertical motion. But... Um, if you don't, if you, but if you don't, not securing that with some type of leg string or hemp string or another leather piece to keep it tied to the end part, the interior of the thigh, this knife thing will be flopping around if you're out there in, in nature. So, Bear Grylls come up with this thing to where it's horizontally attaches to the belt. And uh, it also keeps you from having to do, uh, let me move my, my drink. It also keeps you from doing this number of pulling the knife up because the by it being attached to the belt horizontally, you can just pull it straight out this way. So if you're going straight, you don't have to do a whole bunch of raising up your hand like this. So, and now what a lot of crafters are doing, they're making a quick draw knife sheath, which it simulates the quick draw gun holster. Because when you when you uh, have it tilted at an angle, um, you, a lot of your police detectives are using it tilted on a 45 degree, some a 50 degree, depending on uh, even your competition shooters. Your competition shooters want that thing to be tilted. So it's all one sweeping motion when they pull it and they come in right up with you. So and the same thing works with the quick draw knife sheet. Now this is just a quick prompt to history real fast, real quick before we get off into the tools. But, uh, and you can design these any kind of way that you want to design these. I like the knife sheaths to be on a 35 degree angle because um, either, and this is a cross draw. I say it's a cross draw because it can be, um, it can be made, it works actually in any, for any handed person, depending on what the business is. Um, so if you're in the woods and you, you, you have the time, and this is actually going to a turkey calling company, uh, that I'm trying to negotiate some, some good deals with. And this is, they are already on a national brand. They're in Bass Pro Shop. They're in Cabela's. So you guys stay tuned and keep an eye out. If you're ever in Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's or any of these hunting places, look for, Look for the quick draw knife sheaths to be tied to this turkey company. Uh, and you guys will see the Premier Leather Crafters logo, um, my cowboy hat with PLC. Look for that. So y'all got you guys know that hey, I'm in, I am still handling business. But anyway, um, I like doing mine on a 35 degree angle, depending on what the business is. If you're a left-handed person and you just want to do a cross draw, it's um because if, if, if you are a carrier like me, 
Uh, I do everything with my left hand. My cell phone is already attached to my left hip. My wallet is already attached to my my left cheek back yonder. And so to put all to put more stuff on my left side would be really aggravating. So as a left hander, I can pull it and reach across and bam, you know, then that's the business right there. Or if I'm really, if I'm a right-handed person and I'm really trying to give you the business, I can come straight up and boom, it's, it's, it's already ready to handle business that way too. So these are becoming very popular right now in the, in the leather world. They've probably already been out for a while, but I don't know. But I'm seeing a lot of these floating around on the leather skill now. The angled, um, the angled quick draw knife sheets. So, but... Uh, and this also goes to a previous video to where I was advertising the vacuum seal. This little tool right here. Well, we went in and I told you that it was $17 to buy this at Wally World. And you can see it right there. It's called the Fresh Saver Food Saver. This little pump here. And then these are the bags. Now, I went back. They, they, they give you uh, eight pint size bags with the purchase of this. Or you can go right to the next little box over and you can buy that gallon size. And I will use the gallon sizes for my knife sheaths and my uh, gun holsters because they'll need a little bit more space to do the forming. Now this little baby right here has already been forming a couple of days. So actually this is the second day, day, day and a half day and a half this is the day and a half of forming and basically and i had this set to where the heat um will dry more of the moisture out of it so i give this bad boy about another two days three days max and all of the moisture is going to be out and i'll come back periodically and hit that with the hair dryer you know to dry it because we're still in the winter months down here in the south so it's not as cold as it has been but it's still not cold enough as if it was summertime and i can just let it bake in the sun all day and it'll dry and evaporate that moisture out of there all right now let's get to the business the brass tacks as my my grandma used to say um the tools that I want to show you guys are these. And traditionally or normally, I would use this tool here. Uh, let me put my glasses down. You guys, I'm getting old out there. So I had to get me some old man glasses. And so I can see these little bitty numbers that they stamping in here. But this is the X534. And this is a Tandy tool. Uh, X534. So if you on Tandy, maybe you if you even if you don't order from Tandy, you may order from Springfield, uh, you may order from Weaver, you may order from Leather Wranglers, you may it's a whole bunch of people out there now. <sighs> but um excuse me. But uh this is the X Oh god, Lee, I really can't see the X534. That's what this tool is here. And to, normally I would use this to do my basket weave. And I'm going to show you guys what that tool looks like on stamping is this one here. Now, and you can do this a hundred different ways. You, uh, what I usually do, I'll do the diagonal line. And that way my basket weave print is diagonal. And um, it just gives it a different variation or a different look. And you can use this tool. This is how you would normally let this tool out. Now, you can see it kind of makes the leather appear to where it goes under these lines over and under and over and under. But everything is all going the same direction. And it's the same pattern. Even the lining up these here are all the same all the way across. Now, the tool that I'm very excited about is this craft tool here. This is the one that I am very excited about. And what I love about this tool, and this is the X2850. The X2850. What I love about this tool, this tool actually copies and mimics the real basket weave technique. So if I am a basket weaver, uh, you will see these popular amongst the, the Samoan people of Hawaii, or you'll see them in a lot of Hawaiian decor. Um, 
the uh, the traditionalist stuff. Uh, you'll see basket weaving done in a lot of Hispanic countries, Mexico, Spain, Guatemala. Uh, you'll see them around South America where they still do a lot of the real basket weaving. Even in the Dominican, uh, the DR, uh, well, the DR in the Dominican is the same, but when you see a lot of the people out there weaving, the, sewing the baskets, you know, this tool copies more of that actual design. And this is so beautiful. I, and if you guys didn't notice in the knife sheath, I've already put this to work, this tool to work, and it's going to be beautiful. And what it also does, it gives me more creative play than this one. Um, now, in the, in the uh, I know the Samoan culture or the Samoan people, they actually use different color straw or straw whatever they use to make the baskets out of the hemp straw or the flat hemp straw to where they might use a, a red or a brown and it's weaving in not the basket basket that's where oh god we am so sorry that's where you get a lot of the um different colors and a lot of the african cultures uh if you're on the continent of africa um you will see a lot of the different colors in there. You'll see the red, the black, the green. Uh, you also see some gold in, woven into their baskets. And let me give you what that one looks like. Da da. And you can actually see it's more of an over and under appearance than this one. Because even if you take this line, you can see where it goes under that, over this, under, over under and see it goes under the crossing stitch and this is where it actually gives you that woven technique like such where it's actually where you can see the over and the under like it's physically been braided through that's what this tool does and the way you get that is you simply if you stamp in this way if this is your first stamp you simply just turn the tool that way and stamp turn stamp Next one, stamp, and you turn it all the way up. Now, unlike the top one where you have to, where I put it on a diagonal line, you that is not necessary here. So this first one, um, I would stamp it this way. I'm trying to get this where you can see both the stamp. I'll stamp it this way, then I'll turn it that way. Boom, boom, turn. And then I'll come to the next line, and I'll go this way. And then I'll go boom. Turn, boom, turn. And then I'll fill that out this way the same way. And now the thing with that is, and it's very easy to use this tool because you guys see these four little marks here. You just line those up into the holes here. So that way it doesn't throw your weaving pattern off. Very simple, very beautiful. It covers a lot more area. And this is what I want. Look at that. Look how much larger this one is over this one. So you cover more area. You guys will start to see more of this stamping work in my pieces, especially on my wallets, my minimalist wallets, my gun holsters, as well as uh, my knife sheaths, because it covers more area. Covering more area is less time spent on a piece, and it actually gives it a better look than that one. Now, I still like this one, so I'm still going to give it, you know, pretty much put this somewhere. But it gives it a better look. And I even playing around with this one and tried to do a camouflaging tool over this. And I tried to do an Aztec print over that right there. Uh, uh, to see how the ends would reflect. But I think that would be unnecessary. And all you would need to do is when you cut your borderline. You would then take your modeling tool. Because you can lay this tool all the way over next to your borderline and start your stamping and pattern work there. You can stamp that there.
And then you'll take your modeling spoon and you'll just smooth out that edge, that, that corner. And then that would make your work turn out to be very cool and look very good. But anyway, you guys, I want you guys to know this and, uh, and to get this tool here. Uh, again, this is the uh, X2850. The X2850. And it is a craft tool on Tandy. Um, so and I, it might be up on a different name or a different number from another company. But I do know Tandy will give you that true basket weave pattern and technique. Hey, you guys stay tuned. This is Robert the Leather Cowboy down here, Premier Leather Crafters, um, giving you another video about a real basket weave tool. I really love that tool. And, and you guys stay tuned. I'll sh be back with another one probably in the next day or so because I got a few projects that I have to get out of here and get shipped off into the mail. But... Uh, I think the next one, I'm going to go more in detail uh, about some different things. Oh, man, and I wish you guys can see. Actually, I will show you uh, real quick um, this um, uh, native pattern with this tool. And I, this is another newer tool for me. And this one is the uh, D2197. The D2197. And this is just a regular Tandy tool here. Very cool tool here. And I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of what this tool can do right here. It gives you that Aztec or that native pattern. You see how it makes the leather takes a different shape? Man, wait till I get ready and resist that line right there. In between the tooling work, along these flip flops, these these are a, a, a new pair of custom sandals that's going to another client. So is you, uh, look, you can have multiple pieces going on. I can't do anything to this one until it fully it fully forms and gets all of that water out. So that's sitting out the way. So what does it, is it left for a crafter to do? Work on another client. So. And, but you guys can see how their tool is. And we stamp it. And then the, the simple is simply to simply get that Aztec pattern or the, in, the native pattern. And I hate to say native um, or Native American because they were here before it was the country was named America. But anyway, uh, that native pattern or the Hispanic pattern, the Aztec pattern. It's so simply done with this tool here is once you stamp that, the first line, or you can do the outside border, once you do that, all you're doing is moving it offset from the tool that you, you're basically just shooting the gap in between those two points, that point and that point. So between this, this point here and this point here, I just shot the gap. And I would line this up with the gap over here. And that gives you that uh, kind of like a ribbon. But then I will also go into another video because I'll be showing you guys how to do a ribbon pattern on a, uh, and now that's all swivel knife work. We haven't even gotten to that point yet. This is all stamping work because the better you learn to master and manipulate your stamps, you can do a whole host of work with just your stamping tools without even getting off into carving. Without even getting off into carving, once you learn to master and mimic your stamping tools and learning what your tools can do, what shapes your other tool, what shapes can your uh, tools actually make other than the shape or the print that it's made for, that's where you start to become off into a, a what I say, a, a master craftsman, you know, and it's all just playing around with different stuff. Every day, sit down, do like I do. Sit down at your table, your workshop, or whatever have you, and just create. Create. 
create, create, stamp, 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 make, 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 make something. That's the only way that you're going to get better, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, look, this is Robert the Leather Cowboy. Thank you guys for chilling with me these 19 and a half minutes. I'm going to get out of here and get back to the grind again. You guys stay tuned. There'll be a lot more videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing and, and coming with me on this journey. Thank you guys for the comments, the love. I appreciate all of that. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscription button, and then right next to that, hit the little bell right there. You'll see that on your YouTube screen. And then what that does, that lets you know every time that these videos come out or every time that a video comes out from me, it will send you a notification to say, hey, Cowboy has done another video, another tip that might be beneficial to you and can help you better along the way. You know, I'll see you guys on the other side. I got to get back to the grind, baby. Peace.